I hear somebody in the background. Oh, Debbie, we I are recording now. Sorry. Um, thanks. Okay, no worries. I would like to call the meeting of the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment to order. The board members present today are Angelia Bills Chair, Justin Randall, Vice Chair. The Department of Planning staff members are Debbie Netsfit, Abby Freudel, and Ab Abiola Adesana. Also on the call is John Burford from the County Counselor's Office. First, I'd like to offer into the record the affidavit of publication pertaining to today's meeting, August the 7th, 2024. The board hereby takes official notice of and admits into evidence on the record, the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance Chapter 1003, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended, and Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended. Next, I'd like to call for a motion to approve the minutes of the previous BCA meeting of July 24, 2024. Make a motion to approve the July 24th Board of Zoning Adjustment Minutes. Okay. And I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. The motion passes. This meeting is conducted as a teleconference and is recorded. The planning staff will read each request into the record and present technical advice to the board if needed. The petitioner will be unmuted, state their name, and make a brief presentation to the board explaining the reason and hardship for the requested variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. When the board is satisfied with the material presented, the chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. To do so, click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, staff will read them into the record. Before a call for the vote, the petitioner may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance uh, to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote. At that time, the discussion has ended, no further discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today, since there are only two members present at this time, if the board's vote is split one to one, the request will be continued to the next regularly scheduled meeting when all three members are present. If a variance is approved, the petitioner has six months to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested, or the variances will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has the right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court. Paper paperwork indicating the board's decision will be mailed to the petitioners. Seventy two dash twenty four Jonathan Fila is a request for an exception to the front and side yard regulations. The purpose of replacing a side landing and stairs at 4763 Hanover Avenue, maintaining the front yard of 17 feet in lieu of 20 feet and a side yard of 0 feet in lieu of 5 feet as required by the R5 extent regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. I have requested that you omit yourself most. Please state your name to the record and proceed with your case. Sure. Um, my name is CJ Moss. Um, I work for Chesterfield Fence and Deck, and I'm representing uh, Jonathan and Emily Feeler. Um, so just kind of a brief scope of work um, of what we're going to do and I guess what's on site. Um, currently, there's a small... Um, landing or walkway um, that's a like I guess a deck uh, that has two sets of stairs um, one small set running from the front of the house uh, up to the small landing and then a longer set of stairs on the back side running towards um, the back of the house along the house um, we're essentially going to do a remove and replace so we're going to take that landing and stairs out put a new landing and stairs in that's essentially the same size and location um, uh, just with newer and updated materials uh, and obviously everything will be to code. Um, I guess the hardship is I know that there's the side yards and front yards uh, or setbacks, uh, sorry, um, that are in these areas, but I get the hardship would be there's a door 
Um, I don't know if there are good pictures of the home. Um, no, there's pictures there. Um, that there's some kind of like side door or side access door on the side of the house where this landing and stairs are. So even if we were to change this um, landing and stairs set to something else, they still need to have some kind of access to this door. Um, and I know that it runs right up to the property line and that's kind of tight. But even if we were to do just like a set of stairs or even a smaller landing, like there's not really enough workable space to put something in there that gives access to this door that's, you know, safe to use uh, for people from the front of the yard and the back of the yard, that back of the yard to access this door. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. We're taking that landing and stairs out and putting a new set in same layout, um, just with updated materials. Okay. Is there also a back exit to the house? Uh, that I don't know off of the top of my head. Let me see if I have pictures of the back. Oh, no, I don't have pictures of the back of the house, so I can't confirm or deny that. Um, it looks like they may have like a patio or something back there. So either they just have a patio and that's the only access from the side. Um, let me see if I have something else that tells me. Okay, well, all I can confirm is that there's a patio back there. I do not know if there's a door mm -hmm. off the back of the house. So I can I can verify that further if need be. Okay. Um, that's okay. I, I was just wondering if there was another exit. Sure. Mm-hmm. Justin, did you have any questions? No, I don't think I have anything at this time. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I don't see any hands, so at this time I'm going to mute the petition out so the yeah, board can take their vote. And what is that number again? This is 72-24. Okay. In the matter of 72-24, I vote to approve the uh, variances advertised and the hardship being just the need to update the side exit. I'll second that motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passes. 73-24, Tony and Kelly Masella is a request for an exception to the rear yard regulations for the purpose of installing an in-ground swimming pool as 1053 Oak Terrace Court, maintaining a rear yard of 8 feet in lieu of 15 feet as required by the R3 Resident District Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and PE Ordinance 12972. I have requested that you unmute. Please state your name to the board and proceed with your case. And we're requesting an eight foot variance to the rear yard setback in lieu of a 15 foot to install an in ground fiberglass swimming pool. Okay, can you state your name, please? My name is Tony Messerla. Okay, thank you. Proceed. So we're basically wanting to um, request the eight foot variance so that we can locate um, or place the pool in an area that gives us ample room around uh, in between the house for safety and just basic um, layout. So our patio right now is is four feet from the house. Um, we wanna kind of just move it out towards the middle of the yard so that we can have space around the entire pool. Do you have plans for the uh, new new pool that you can show us? Um, yes, I do. Okay. Let's see, that should be. I think I might have submitted it. Um, can you guys see that? Yes. Yes. So there's the the yellow or the orange marks are the distance from all the uh, property lines, and 
the 15 foot setback basically cuts through the middle of the yard, through the middle of the pool. Mm -hmm. And and what was your stated hardship again? Um, basically, so we would like to be able to push it out into the middle of the yard to allow more uh, room around in between the pool and the house for the safety. Okay. Okay. And there's, so I guess there's no, what's the distance from the house to the edge of the pool? So at the closest, it's nine feet right now from the house to the pool. Okay. And is it, can, is there pictures of the back of the house? Is it, uh, does it like have decks or anything or is it just all patio? It's just all patio which all of that will get removed. Mm -hmm. There'll be new concrete from the pool all the way to the house. Okay. Is there, uh, and are you, you said you're the contractor for the project? I'm the homeowner. Oh, you're the homeowner. Okay. So is your pool contractor, has he mentioned anything in terms of uh a needed setback off the house um he hasn't and i've we've applied through st louis county and they came back and basically stated everything that they required for us to move um the mechanicals were actually on the side of the house which encroached on the side yard setback mm -hmm. so we had to move that back around but i think we're pretty much there as far as all the required dimensions okay for the county I don't have any further questions. Angel. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I do not see any hands at this time. So I'm going to mute the petitioner so the board can make their vote. Okay. Uh, let's see. So in the matter of 73 12 24 i'll make a motion to approve the variance as advertised okay i second it and i would say that the hardship is the yard is uh rather narrow and they're trying to make space between the house and the pool uh, all those in favor aye any opposed okay the motion passes 74-24 Missouri Conference Association, Seventh the Adventist Church, is a request for an exception to the frontier regulations for the purpose of replacing an existing sign at 4108 Revis Barracks Road, maintaining a front yard of 13 feet in lieu of 20 feet as required by the R5 Residency Regulations and Section 1003.168 sign regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. I have requested that you unmute yourself. Please state your name to the board and proceed with your case. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hello, uh, my name is John Hellman with Ad Media LED Signs. We are the contractor for this uh, sign. And they have an existing sign at this church with a setback of 13 feet. And all we are requesting is to be able to keep it in the same place with respect to the right of way. So are you just updating the sign then? No, we're completely replacing it. The old one uh, is your old school changeable copy with track and individual letters and this new one will have a digital display it'll be mounted on a nice uh, faux brick base and have a new uh, ID sign at the very at the top of it that will be illuminated with white LEDs instead of fluorescence okay and it will be in the same exact spot as the current one 
Yes. Okay. Do you know the right of way width and speed limit along that stretch of Rebus Barracks? Oh, my goodness. Speed limit. No, I don't know the speed limit. And let me see if I can find the right of way specs. And put you on speaker. Lay the phone down. Um, and the only reason I'm asking is, it looks like from that picture right there, there's a fairly large setback from the roadway already. I just want to just kind of okay. use potentially use yeah. that as. A, I don't know why I'm not able to put my hands on it at the moment. I think it's too much going on there. Um, well, uh, the, the other aspect to this is that uh, the, the property is, sits up above the road by about five feet. Okay. And so moving it back would create a hardship in visibility in addition to trees that are on neighboring properties during the approach to the, to the site. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, that, that answered my questions. Okay. okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I do not see any hands at this time. I'm going to mute the petition so the, so the board can take their vote. Okay. Hearing none, 74-24, uh, I vote to approve the variance as advertised um, with the hardship just being that it looks like it's a pretty fast road it's on and they're actually putting the sign in the same place. I'll second that motion. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes, thank you. 75-24 Thomas Bardino is a request for an exception to the front yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a new single family residence at 12102 Cherry Court, maintaining a front yard of 21 feet in lieu of 25 feet along Concord School Road as required by the R2 resident regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Um, I've requested to I've Requested that you omit yourself, Justin. Please state your name to the board and proceed with your case. Hello, can everybody hear me? Yes. Good, e good afternoon. My name is Brian Johnston. I work mm -hmm. with Rowell's company, home builder in St. Louis, with many years of experience. Um, we are petitioning today to uh, actually get a renewal. Um, the variance was actually approved in 2018 with the home. Um, they paused their construction due to health issues with the uh, Mrs. Medino. And the home that we are asking to build is 66 feet wide, which encroaches roughly about four feet on what we would actually consider the side yard. This is actually a corner home site. Um, so if you look at the corner, the Concord School Road side, that is actually going to be side yard. And the zoning in this neighborhood or this community or this area is um, actually calls out for 10-foot side yards. The actual front of the home is going to uh, face Sherrill Court. Um, the width of the home was designed basically due to uh, Mrs. Bedino's situation that we have planned for ADA requirements, wheelchair accessibility, things like that for her for the future due to um, situations, long-term health, uh, health stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're asking basically to allow that to be viewed as a side yard on the left side of the home instead of the uh, front yard. Okay. And there is nothing over on that side. Is that just the street? It is just the street, correct. Mm -hmm. and. I measured everything, um, you know, to where the edge of the house would be to the actual edge of the asphalt is just a little over 33 feet. Um, the way that the home is designed, um, we're actually going to be so far back off of Sherrill Court. There's no line of sight challenges. We've had, uh, you know, a survey company look at that, review it. 
Um, there's there's no visual blockage or anything like that. The actual, unfortunately, the street signs block more of the view than anything. There's um, a school that's really close there, Concord School, um, that's visible from this lot. Speed limit there is 25 miles per hour, but it is more of a side yard with the home facing Sherrill Court. Okay. And this was approved. When was it last approved? Um, they applied for it in 2018. Um, I've got the documentation here. And at the time, um, it was signed by uh, Miss Janet Herman, I think is the name. Mm -hmm. um, so they signed off on it. And again, they just, they held off due to some change in the health uh, concerns. And then obviously COVID hit, which pushed some things back for a lot of people. But um, now they're ready to move forward and uh, they own the home site and it's uh, just getting their, their home prepared. They live in a two story now and they need to get rid of the stairs to the second floor. So they're moving into a ranch style home, which most people know and understand that that takes up more ground space. Okay. I don't have any further questions. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I do not see any hands at this time. I'm going to mute the petition so the board can take their votes. Uh, in the matter of 75-24, based on the uh, corner lot situation, uh, I'll make a motion to approve the variance as advertised. And I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. The motion passes. 76-24, James Perkins, is a request for an exception to, to allow the construction of a three-car garage, which would be more than half the footprint of the home at 4948 Peace Road, as required by the Section 4 of the R2 Resident District Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. I have requested that you, or Mr. Self Grants, please state your name to the board and proceed with your case. Is Grant maybe with Heinz Schneider and Bond, and um, uh, pleased to be here taking the time with you this afternoon. The residence in question, and we we sent over an appraisal, is a 1,992 square foot home. Um, uh, some of the county records seem to indicate it's a, a home that's 1633 feet, but um, looking at the full county records and the appraisal, it is a uh, 1,992 square foot home. And this was actually before this board a year ago. And at the time, the homeowner was petitioning this board to grant a variance for a three car garage that was 1,736 square feet. And the guidance that this commission gave was they thought that was uh, a little too large vis-a-vis -vis the size of the home and uh, recommended that the size be reduced and that the applicant come back. And so the applicant has uh, since that time gone back to the professionals involved, both the contractor, the architect, and, and a professional engineer, and has reworked the plans, uh, removed 456 square feet from the plans to reduce the size sought to 1,280 square feet for this three car garage, uh, making the request for a variance uh, outside of the zoning ordinance interpretation to be uh, 284 square feet. So it's um, uh, just over half the size of the home with 1280 sought for 1992. We believe it's certainly a reasonably necessary structure and would be clearly subordinate to the primary structure both in size and where it's being placed on the lot the um the lot coverage uh of seven percent is met with this new reduced size it will only uh all of the structures on the site will only cover 5.1 percent of the lot uh, it complies with all easements and setbacks and i i did share uh this with the board earlier but um all St. Louis County departments have approved all necessary permits and everyone is ready to begin construction subject just to the uh, consideration and granting of this variance. 
uh, beyond the hardships I've already discussed, the resident has uh, multiple vehicles that do not fit in the current garage. Um, he has an F-350 truck with a trailer hitch. Um, he works for a commercial HVAC company and um, uh, is an engineer and uh, has to tow things on occasion for work. The, no, no part of this is being used for commercial, but just his personal vehicle is that F-350. That is a uh, a vehicle that is 22 feet plus the trailer hitch, uh, making it closer almost to 23 feet. The existing garage is a, the older 1960 style garage. It's only 22 feet deep. Um, so the, the car literally cannot fit in there. Um, uh, the property also, as you can see from the aerials, backs up to Interstate 270 and uh, uh, unfortunately, nothing to do with uh, St. Louis County, but uh, as you can see from the aerials, the Missouri Department of Transportation stopped the sound wall that runs along most of I-270 in South St. Louis County uh, mm -hmm. behind the neighboring residents at 4940 and 4932 Tice Road. And so uh, this homeowner deals with the full brunt of the roar of I-270 traffic as being one of the only properties not protected by the sound wall uh, in all of South St. Louis County makes it uh, really almost impossible to enjoy the rear yard. And we believe this structure would be situated such to block some of the uh, intense sound waves coming from the interstate. The We submitted a piece of correspondence from Mr. Byron Davison with Davison Drafting and Design, who is the architect involved. Uh, there was some thought given to attempting to attach this garage to the existing residence, which would be permitted uh, under the zoning code without a variance. But uh, the lot is in excess of a half acre, but it's a, a long skinny lot with the existing residence generally occupying the left to right with uh, fairly close to the setbacks and the easements. So there's really no way to attach on the sides without seeking a variance of a different sort. And with the way the house is situated with the master bed, master bath on the rear, uh, there's really wasn't a way to attach it to the rear. And so the architect's uh, opinion was it really needed to be a detached garage. Uh, it's also what has been customarily done in the neighborhood. Two doors down at 5006 Tice, there's a, uh, a detached garage that would be outside of the zoning code um, interpretation and two doors down the other way at 4932 ties you have the exact same situation um, the uh, neighbors um, at really all neighbors both on either side and across the street have all voiced their support at 5006 ties 4924 ties 4949 ties, 4955 ties, 4956 ties, and 4940 ties. All of those letters have been um, have been submitted, mm -hmm. and the um, we believe there's you know no detriment to the public good, and certainly this this project can be implemented while uh, you know faithfully complying to the intents of the zoning uh, of the zoning code interpretation. Okay. And and I will note that uh, we do have your uh, submissions and we're looking over those now. Okay. And I guess the only thing I would add is he did, um, even though, frankly, by putting it in the rear, it really makes it hard for any neighbor to see it. Um, you know, the property backs to the MoDOT right of way and um, mm -hmm. the visibility is really low. Um, you know, did not want to propose building something unattractive. So the uh, the plans that have been approved by the county call for um, architectural shingles and LP siding and uh, ho hopefully a building that would uh, attract to the beauty of the neighborhood rather than detract from it. Okay. okay. I don't have any questions. Justin, do you have any? No. Um, I think I remember this case and I think uh, this mm -hmm. has addressed a lot of the concern that I think we had back a year ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there anyone here in favor or opposition? We have Matt, who is a contractor to this project. Matt, do you want to present anything to the board? I've requested that you unmute yourself.
Yeah. Okay, he said he has nothing to say. Okay. Mr. Struckman is with uh, KBS Contracting. That's who um, the homeowners have contracted with to, to build this and who has obtained the permits. We just wanted to have him available if there were any technical uh, questions about the proposed building. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Okay. Well, in the matter of 76 24, I vote to approve the variance as advertised. Uh, I did read the additional uh, documents relating to. Uh, the proposal, and it seems like it would be a nice upgrade to the property. So uh, I vote to approve. I'll second that motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes. That's all we have tonight. Uh, I thought we, was there, I thought there was an additional request that came in. There is from the police department. We were going to present that. Um, trying to think where the paperwork is here. <laughs> they are requesting an increase in signage for the police headquarters in Precinct 1. Um, did I send the paperwork to you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. What what's that address? Do you know? Oh. Uh, I'm I'm looking for it. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. No, no, prepared. you're fine. I, just, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. <laughs> I think yeah. I think we're all looking. There. And Debbie, this is John. When you get a chance, if you don't mind reading the uh, the request for the record. Oh, okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Let me find that. Okay, 7724 St. Louis County requests an exception to the sign regulations for the purpose of installing two wall signs at 11030 Dunn Road, maintaining a wall sign size of 78 square feet in lieu of 50 square feet and an informational sign of 30 square feet in lieu of 16 square feet is required by the R3 residence district regulations at section 1003168 sign regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay. I'm familiar with that area. Okay. So that's like uh, off of 367 in, in North County. So it's kind of a elaborate like uh, 367 is like an elevated bridge uh, with a speed limit of, I think it's like, what? Is 50. It 50. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to tell on myself. And <laughs> tell you <how> <laughs> so, so 50, it's, it's, yeah, 50 to 60. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, so, it's, so it's elevated. It's a high, um, high speed limit area. Um, Dunn Road sits kind of low. So I... I would I would advocate for they probably do need all of those big signs there. All right. Okay. And then the good. old precinct is horrible. I mean, you really can't see it. So <laughs> I'm glad they're doing a new one. Okay. Uh, I yeah, I'm I'm good uh, with that. Uh, I I just wanted to know, kind of, you know, giving ourselves some cover on a hardship there. So. Um, in the matter of 77-24, based on the location and the uh, road and speed, uh, I'll make a motion to approve the variance as advertised. I second it. 
All those in favor, aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes. All right, I'll make a motion to adjourn the Board of Zoning Adjustment. And I second that. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes. See you guys in two weeks. Yep, see you guys. Okay, thank you. Yeah, all right.